Thank you, Kaz. And with rough conditions expected, parts of the Big Bend now under a state of emergency. The list right there on your screen. Franklin, Jefferson, Lafayette, Madison, Swanee, Taylor, and McCullough. A move made to ensure resources and support will be available should it be needed. And as Elsa gets closer to Florida, counties in the protected path, including Taylor, known to have flooding issues, are working to prepare for those impacts. Our Jada Williams is in Steenhatchee with more about the preparations. The Steenhatchee community is now doing what they can to prepare ahead of Tropical Storm Elsa. At the Taylor County Emergency Management Operations, preparations begin with a string of conference calls. Um, those the National Weather Service, we have a call in the morning, we have a call in the afternoon, as well as the Hurricane Center in the morning and the afternoon. So we're always up to date on the latest track. Now emergency management is encouraging the community to be on standby, prompting many to stock up on sandbags to keep the water out. Yet others say they'll take their chances. There's too much water comes down through there out that river. The sandbags all we're going to do is make it go around over here. Steenhatchee realtor Billy Barnett has lived in the coastal community since 1967. He says he's used to the storms and even flooding during regular rainstorms. Where I flood uh, on the river up there, I, used, I didn't flood last year, but usually I flood my near every year, three or four foot in my yard. But I just move out and stay gone three or four days and go back home. In 2019, nearly 30 inches fell in a three-day period, displacing roughly 100 families. If you live like we do on the coast, then something you have to put up with is live in paradise. <laughs> Emergency management says although there is a 25 bag limit, they encourage people to contact them if they feel that 25 isn't enough to protect their homes. As of right now, there are no plans to open any emergency shelters in this area. That all depends on a conference call happening shortly with EMA. If they decide to activate one, it'll be at Taylor High School.